In this lesson, we will be looking at identifying different types of functions, most of which we've talked about already, um, from their graphs, just from their graphs in this lesson. So, um, we want to look at the shape of their graph and figure out what kind of function it is. So, for each of these, you have the different kinds of functions that we are going to choose from today. Linear, quadratic, cubic, rational, square root, absolute value, and greatest integer functions. What I've done is I've kind of described each of them um, here, and so you might want to write those definitions down. So, if it's a linear function, it's going to be in a straight line. If it's a quadratic function, it will be in the shape of a parabola. If it's a cubic function, it will be sort of lightning bolt shaped, um, rounded off, of course, not straight, but sort of lightning bolt shaped. A rational function will have either asymptotes or holes, sometimes both, um, but if it has an asymptote or hole, it's a rational function. A square root function will be sort of half of a sideways para par uh, parabola. You'll, we'll see one, and that will make more sense too, I think, when we see it. And the absolute value functions, of course, are V-shaped ones. Um, and then greatest integer functions look like a set of stairs that are coming out. They are also called step functions sometimes. This particular textbook calls them greatest integer functions, but they are also called step functions because of their shape. So what we are going to do here is we are going to go through a bunch of pictures and then discuss decide what kind of function it is. So this one obviously is a parabola, and so parabolas make are formed from quadratic functions. So this one is quadratic. This is one of those lightning bolt shaped. Obviously if it was lightning bolt it would be more straight like that. This is um, not straight, it is curved, but think of it as lightning bolt shaped. It does cross the axis in three spots, and so it is cubic. Cubic functions will not always cross in exactly three spots, but their arrows do go opposite directions, so you know it's an odd function. Um, <coughs> sometimes some of those roots are imaginary, though, so it might only cross in one spot, but as long as it's lightning bolt shaped, um, it is cubic. Then this is a graph that you can see has an asymptote. Um, it has one right here at negative 1, and it has one right here at 0. So because it has asymptotes, this graph is the graph of a rational function. This is one of half of those that sideways parabola, because this would be the other half here, just so you know. Um, obviously, it's not there, but when it's half of a parabola, it is a square root function. This obviously is a line, and it does not appear to have any holes in it. Even if it was a line, but let's say it had a hole right there, it would be rational. This is, does not have a hole, and so it is just simply linear. This, again, is a parabola with no holes in it, and so it is quadratic. If it was a parabola with a hole, it would have to be rational. And then here's what I'm talking about when it looks like a set of stairs that you're climbing or descending. You could be going up or down. But this is that step function, or also known as the greatest integer function. And then this again, you can see, has an asymptote that is right here um, at th 3, it looks like. So this is also rational. And this is a V-shaped graph, so it is absolute value. And this is a straight line. Um, technically, it's a constant function because um, vertical and horizontal lines are called constant functions. They are also linear, though. It has no holes in it. So um, based on our choices that we have, this is going to be a linear function. <coughs> All right, and then I want you to um, hit pause and fill in the rest of them yourself, and then you can go ahead and check them. So hit pause, and then you can check them. Number 11 is quadratic. 12 is cubic. Not a real strong lightning bolt shaped, but it is. Um, it only does cross the axis in one spot, so that means of the three roots, one is real and two are imaginary. Uh, this is V-shaped, so it's absolute value. This, again, is sort of that lightning bolt shape. It's cubic, no holes in it. This is the step function, so it's the greatest integer.
And this, of course, has asymptotes. You might be tempted to say it's quadratic because of that parabola in the middle, but there are asymptotes. You have to look at the whole entire graph. And so this is rational. And then this, again, is a straight line, so it's linear. Make sure it does not have any holes to it, which it does not. And this one is half of that sideways parabola. The other half, of course, would be here. Um, <coughs> but half of a sideways parabola are um, square root functions. So hopefully when you see a graph, you can identify what type of function it is now.